Hello, and welcome to this short video for the Cambridge Festival of, of Ideas. My name is Marie-Louise Toyakauf, and I'm a researcher in the Department of Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic. I'm part of a project which explores ancient Irish place name legends called Mapping the Medieval Mind. In Ireland, as elsewhere, river names are among the oldest names you can find on the map, and many go back to pre-Christian deities or supernatural characters from local legends. I'm going to tell you the legends of two major Irish rivers, one flowing east into the Irish Sea, the other flowing west into the Atlantic Ocean. The first is the River Boyne. The Boyne originates in County Kildare and flows into the Irish Sea at Drogheda, just north of Dublin. According to legend, the Boyne, or Boan in Irish, was the wife of an otherworldly water deity named Nyachtan. Nyachtan was the custodian of the well of Shegish, which possessed extraordinary powers. Only Nyachtan and his three cupbearers were able to approach the well and look into it without incurring any harm. But one day, Bohan decides to approach the well alone and encircles it three times, pronouncing that it held no power over her which could injure her. In reaction to this insult, the waters of the Shegish rise over her and pursue her out of the other world and across the land. Boan flees to the sea where the waters drown her and along the way she creates the course of the river Boyne. A very similar legend of a woman tempting a supernatural well survives for the River Shannon. The Shannon rises in County Cavan and runs for over 200 miles before ending in the Shannon Estuary in County Limerick, where it flows into the Atlantic Ocean. The Shannon is not just a geographical barrier, but also sections of the province of Connacht in the west of Ireland from Leinster in the east and Munster in the south. The Shannon, in its Irish form Shannon, is named after a woman from the other world, or Tyr Tarngira, the land of promise. In her life, Shinan wanted for nothing except one thing. She desired the supernatural knowledge and magic of the well of Conla, which is located in the other world. Above the well, there grew a hazel bush, which brought forth the blossom and the fruit of the hazel all at once. When the hazelnuts were ripe, they fell into the well and were eaten by the salmon swimming in it. The well possessed the power to grant inspiration and wisdom, but when Shinan approached it, the well fled from her. Shinan pursued the well to a river, and the waters turned on her and finally overwhelmed her and she was drowned. In Ireland, the origin of major water sources, be they rivers or lakes, is often connected with otherworldly knowledge and inspiration, as well as with transgression. The eruption of usually otherworldly wells is caused by the transgression of human beings wishing to know their secrets and paying dearly for their desires. For more on Ireland's lakes and rivers, also see this YouTube video on Loch Foyle. And thank you for listening.